Do you realize the amount of water we use and and or waste in a day? It's the thing we seem to have so much of. And is something we often take for granted. Like when your elementary school teachers have you take turns at the water fountains. And she would say to us one at a time, one, two, three, that's enough for me. Or save some for the fish. I stopped drinking from the fountain when I got older. We don't know where their mouths have been. Anyway, the average family can waste 180 gallons per week, or 9,400 gallons of water annually, from household leaks. That's equivalent to the amount of water needed to wash more than 300 loads of laundry. Household leaks can waste approximately nearly 900 billion gallons of water annually nationwide. One of the most common ways in which people waste water is by leaving the water running when brushing their teeth, shaving or doing the dishes. Turn the tap off as soon as you start brushing, shaving or doing the dishes. For washing the dishes, fill one sink with clean rinse water and one with soapy water. As reported by Google Search, Home Water Works says that in most homes, showers are the third largest user of water after toilets and clothes washers. The average American shower water usage is 17.2 gallons with the average shower length being 8.2 minutes. The average flow rate is 2.1 gallons per minute. Is that not good enough for you? Here are some more statistics. There is the same amount of water on Earth as there was when the Earth was formed. The water from your faucet could contain molecules that dinosaurs drank. Water is composed of two elements, hydrogen and oxygen. Two hydrogen plus one oxygen equals H2O. Nearly 97% of the world's water is salty or otherwise undrinkable. Another 2% is locked in ice caps and glaciers. That leaves just 1% for all of humanity's needs all its agricultural, residential, manufacturing, community, and personal needs. Water regulates the Earth's temperature. It also regulates the temperature of the human body, carries nutrients and oxygen to cells, cushions joints, protects organs and tissues, and removes wastes. 75% of the human brain is water and 75% of a living tree is water. A person can live about a month without food, but only about a week without water. Water is part of a deeply interconnected system. What we pour on the ground ends up in our water, and what we spew into the sky ends up in our water. The average total home water use for each person in the U.S. is about 50 gallons a day. The average cost for water supplied to a home in the U.S. is about $2 for 1,000 gallons, which equals about 5 gallons for a penny. Water expands by 9% when it freezes. Frozen water, ice, is lighter than water, which is why ice floats in water. China According to statistics, the population of China spends 1,370 trillion liters of water a year. That puts it on the list of countries with the largest water consumption in the world. The city of Houston treats an average of 449 million gallons of water per day, most of which is used for industrial and manufacturing purposes. According to EPA Water in Daily Life the average American family uses more than 300 gallons of water per day at home. Roughly 70% of this use occurs indoors. Nationally, outdoor water use accounts for 30% of household use yet can be much higher in drier parts of the country and in more water-intensive landscapes. California is the most common place for what is called the drought. From 2000 to 2020. The U.S. Drought Monitor started in 2000. Since 2000, the longest duration of drought, D1-D4, in California lasted 376 weeks beginning on December 27, 2011 and ending on March 5, 2019. The most intense period of drought occurred the week of July 29, 2014 where D4 affected 58.41% of California land. I personally won't drink from my own faucet. I buy purified drinking water but that's just me. To each their own. As reported verbatim by Fax.com 01 drought can last as long as a week, a month, a year, or even more. 02 LACK of precipitation in an area is one of the major causes of drought. 03 DUE to the lack of water for crop irrigation, drought can also affect the food chain, resulting in famine. 04 AS the climate warms, droughts become more common. 05 IN Africa, 
The drought affected 150 million people from 1969 to 1980. Around 74% of all natural disasters between 2001 and 2018 were water-related and during the past 20 years, the total number of deaths caused only by floods and droughts exceeded 166,000, while floods and droughts affected over 3 billion people, and caused total economic damage of almost 700 billion US dollars. Water-related hazards or hydrohazards are the results of complex interactions in the ocean-atmosphere land process cascade. Floods and droughts are expected to increase due to global warming. Lack of access to water and sanitation is a matter of life and death. Contaminated water and inadequate sanitation help transmit diseases like diarrhea, cholera, dysentery, and typhoid. In Africa, more than 315,000 children die every year from diarrheal diseases caused by unsafe water and poor sanitation. We use and often misuse our water. Something that we have plenty of. When there are parts of the world that would die to have a simple sip of clean water. Something we have more than enough of. Don't take it for granted. Tell us your thoughts in the comments section. Do you waste water? How much water do you think you waste a day? Stay tuned for our tribute to Chadwick Boseman.